here is a way to celebrate the holidays with your kids by making homemade ornaments. Did you make those as a kid growing up? Um, of course we did. And the yeah. kiddos, we got plenty on the tree, <laughs> as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. Some yeah. of them very large. Elise McGregor from Little Newton's Early Childhood Education Center is here uh, to show us how to make Thanks. some of these great crafty and festive mm -hmm. holiday ornaments. The key words, they're festive and crafty. Yes, and this is a great opportunity not just to have a project with your child, but mm -hmm. also to create memories. And you can do it as a tradition oh, yeah. that you start after Thanksgiving. And I have a few of them out, some for in-home trees and then some for outdoor as well. And what's okay. great about this, too, is every year, I mean, when we decorated the tree over the weekend, you know, you get out the stuff and it's like, oh, I remember oh, preschool. Yeah. The mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. you know yeah. there's, there's, a, there's a story to be told with everyone. Absolutely. And so we start with building blocks yep. and um, you can pick if you want to do last name or first name however you want to do that and um, this is a great thing to get your children involved have them cut up pictures you can do pictures or festive paper mm -hmm. and decorate around it you just put a hook in it tie a ribbon and you have a very oh, cute okay. ornament that is cute. and uh, it's good for age three and up they can cut they can work on their fine motor skills mm -hmm. they like that little scissors at that age yes. don't they? <laughs> and these are very safe mm -hmm. okay so. Safe scissors, you'd have some in the house. Yes. All right, moving on to uh, the popsicle stick. Mm -hmm. The old button tree. Mm -hmm. Yep, and this is great too. They can start with painting the popsicle sticks. The bigger ones are better. And then after they get them all painted, cut them up largest to smallest. You could use buttons, or for the younger kiddos, you could put stickers on mm -hmm. and then just hang with mm -hmm. some twine or, twine. or, yeah. or ribbon, string, either way. Whatever. Ribbon. Mm -hmm. Yep. That would and be good. Then, and a way to use all those buttons that you have around your house that you can't ever find when you need to sew that button on. <laughs> and same with the uh, dexterity um, fine motor on that one as well. All right, next we have the moose. Or no, the reindeer. The reindeer. Oh, and I don't want to confuse my holiday. <laughs> you can use regular candy canes or fake ones if you mm -hmm. want to make it last longer. And it's just taking some ribbon and wrapping it around, putting on some things. Taping them together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you can hang it on the tree. Or okay. they can eat them after, however, <laughs> <laughs> whichever they choose At to the do. At the Christmas, yeah. there's a reindeer massacre <laughs> exactly. in the middle of the family room. However, it works. And the kids are dripping with antlers. Yep, and then these two are for your outdoor trees. All right. um, oh, okay. You know, the pine cone, we have a ton of those on our tree right now. Mm -hmm. And they're very fun. There's no pattern particularly. Yeah, little fu the little yeah. fuzzy yeah. balls. Yeah, yep. and um, pipe cleaners and for yeah. that Ooh. it's fun because it draws birds mm -hmm. and so the kids oh. like to put them on I'm gonna the go, it, trees. It draws varmints if you hang it too mm -hmm. low. Yeah. Either way. Keep it high. <laughs> Just keep it high. Yeah. Keep it <laughs> the high. birds are more fun than you know the uh, arbitrary armadillo. And it adds a little color outside. And we you know we know nice. kids love Cheerios mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so well, that's the kids something. Are supposed to eat this, though. <laughs> what happens if you do find one of your neighbor children gnawing on, <laughs> on your ornaments that are out there? You just make sure you can, no, no, that's why you hang them Give off. them a candy yes. cane and send them home. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it all fun. Well, again, these are all things that we can do yep. at home. These are all uh, uh, great ideas. W when you look at stuff like this and you look at your kids, um, age group wise, you mentioned this is for the younger kids. What happens as the kids get just a little older? Yeah. I know I'm going outside of little Newton territory here, yeah. but as we evolve past, say, just some clippings with some building blocks, what are some thought processes when we get up into the eights and the nines and the tens and still wanting to keep the crafts at home for some of the stuff like that? I think taking the children and giving them more independence to mm -hmm. do their ornaments. I know my eight-year-old, her ornaments are more clay-like mm -hmm. and more oh, yeah. realistic looking. And more time and effort involved. Yes, yeah. and so it's much more involved than with the little kids, and you know they. I, thought, I think you brought up a, a good point too earlier, and that is that every year that you unpack those boxes mm -hmm. and you put the ornaments on mm -hmm. the tree, uh, you know when they're younger they're making ornaments, but as they get older, I realize we don't have a lot of ornaments that Caitlin's made in the last couple mm -hmm. years. She's a teenager, yeah. but you know it's it's a good memory maker for yeah. the holidays because let's face it, that's what the holiday is all about is uh, is, is your memories. And Another key them. tip, especially if you're making this home, snap a picture of your kiddo making it. And yep. That way you can always file it away. Ah, keep them, uh, very good idea. Well in the past, I was like, oh yeah, we got a little thing. Right. At least yep. thank you so much thank for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, uh, it is 918. Now you can find the instructions to make all of these ornaments and you can go over to littlenewtons.com.